Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are on a job where we need to put some power for a Sanaflow unit into a understairs toilet that's been installed. It was just um, sort of like a storage area. They've rebuilt it to house a toilet and a basin. Um, they need a light in there and they also need power for the Sanaflow unit. So it means finding a source of power, running it down through hopefully the stud wall and um, if not, I can go from the downstairs ring and come up into it um, from beneath. But I'm hoping that I can find a power supply from upstairs that runs into the kitchen, which is also feeding the downstairs ring. And then we can connect into that. So, yeah, kind of straightforward, kind of not, because I need to find a route for the cables. Um, so they're going to have to come down probably for a plastic ball. There's a lot of timber everywhere where it's been built. So drilling holes in the right places and not drilling too many holes as well is obviously gonna be key. So I'll run you through it as I go. Um, like I said, it should be relatively straightforward, but there will be a few things we have to get around. There's also a lot of old cable in the property. The house was rewired about two years ago and it seems that a lot of the old cable was either left in or sort of just chucked under the floorboards. But that is just word of mouth. I'm gonna have a look at that as I come to it. So let me lift some floorboards and see my access routes and I will come back to you and show you exactly how we're getting on. So this is the bathroom. We have got access through the floor just there um, if we need it, but I don't think we're gonna use that. Um, so as you can see, it was just under the stairs sort of cupboard. They've kept a little bit of space down there. Um, this is the cable that I've been left with for the light um it's got the classic electrician's m on it done with some snips like i said it's not live um it comes from that direction which is the kitchen so i'm hoping that it's somewhere in that ceiling there is spots so i can access the ceiling in a few areas now i've just taken these bits of plasterboard down um and i'm going to be taking this bit off as well a little bit dark in here Obviously because I haven't got the light up yet. Um, taking that one out, I've loosened this one off so I can get down behind it. And I've managed to drill a 20 mil hole here to bring the power down through. It's gonna then have to come through here, down, and then the spur will be on the outside of that wall there. This is only a small stud wall. Um, and up above here is the small landing area for the top of the stairs, which I've managed to get into um, through some floorboards, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and that is how we're gonna do it. So I will just take you upstairs quickly. That there is random cable that was just left under the floor. Um, strangely already cut out, but just shoved under there. This is gonna be the two new legs for the ring that I'm gonna be running in. Um, I've managed to find the kitchen ring. Um, probably gonna need a bit more on those. This is one leg of the kitchen ring and this is the second leg of the kitchen ring. Now I have tested those, let's test them again. As you can see, there's abundance of cable there. Some of this cable's live. Some of it's not. For example, you pull up some of these big old ones. He's live. That one there is clearly not live, but um, it's showing live because I haven't separated it well enough. And obviously these are not the best, but they do a job when needed. Um, but yeah, no, we've definitely, <laughs> definitely isolated this one. And this one, that one's live. That is the lighting circuit, I believe. So we will need to find that at some point for the kitchen. So I've brought these cables up, managed to drill on a little angle from the top of the landing here. Took this one board out. These two boards here are already loose. Um, managed to come up here and pass those two cables there. I'm gonna put these into um, some Wago boxes. Split that ring there, um, put two of the gray Wago boxes in underneath the floor here, and then I will mark the board after just to say that there's a junction box under there. 
and it's feeding the Santa flow just for future purpose. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to be putting a light somewhere about here. And then obviously a pull cord, probably this way, down here somewhere. Um, got to go and pick that up. So I'm going to get the fuse spur wired in. Um, like I said, there is a lot of old cable just left in here. You know, there was old cable from the time before that one by the looks of it. Uh, so yeah, let's um, crack on with that. So this one is obviously a bit of a call out. Um, it was chucked on me at the end of last week uh, to replace another job that we can't get back into yet where they've had the floors all downstairs covered in 100 mil of concrete. Um, so they've had to dig out the floors, fill it with concrete and we're waiting for that to cure. Then it needs to be polished. So I can't get back in there yet because I've got to put the lighting circuit in and also cut some chases for the downstairs ring. And obviously can't get any dirt on that floor just yet. So I'm gonna nip off um, and get some Wago boxes so I can uh, break into this kitchen ring final circuit and put a spur in for that Santa flow. And I've decided I'm not going to put a baton holder in. I'm probably just going to put a single spotlight in for them because looking around the rest of the property, they have got um, spotlights in place. So I haven't actually spoke to the customer. I've dealt directly with the builder. However, I'm pretty sure if they come home to a spotlight, which is not going to be um, too much of a difference in price. Just going to put a lamp and can in for them. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a bonus for them and it's just as easy for me and there's loads of space to work with it. So I'm going to nip off and get that now and then I'll see you back at the job when I get back. Right, so I've got the power run down for the spur. Obviously, we're still locked off at the board and working dead. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting in a box now for the spur, just a dry line box. I'm going to be using this smart multi-tool bit here, which is obviously very handy for this sort of thing. It's not something you can use all the time, but if you're adding in a light switch, um, you can add add it in from behind so you can access the back of the stud wall or if it's new and they've only studded one side um, these are very handy um, so I try to use it where I can because it saves me a lot of time um, so I'm going to get this one in now I've already measured it 450 up from floor height to match the rest of the sockets in the house um, yeah let's go ahead and get this one cut in Time to let the doors blow Whoa, set me free Set me free Right, so the circuit's all pulled in, cut out, etc. Box is in. Um, just going to wire it up. And then we will... Get that power turned back on. And hopefully by the end of play today, this customer will be able to use this downstairs toilet, albeit unfinished by the other trades. The plumber is coming this afternoon to pipe it in. And we will have light and power to the Santa flow, just in case they want to blend up some waste. Um, setting on the Santa flow just make sure that a 13 amp fuse is okay if not I've got smaller ones in the van and we can amp it down so that's that's done let's move on to the light right so I've isolated the lighting circuit and basically gone hunting for that cable uh, there was no need to look up in the ceilings because after a bit of investigation, everything in here looks to be mains at the switch, um, which is handy. Just means 
it's local. Um, and thankfully the last electrician, as you can see here, has left. Not quite sure why this cable has been used when normal gray twin has been used for the rest of the property. Um, but obviously this fire rated twin enough has been used here. I don't know if it's all he had left or whatever, but it's not a problem. Um, yeah, we'll connect this one in to the main side and then we'll put a pull switch and a spotlight in the downstairs toilet. So um, let's get on with that. Right, so that's us all done here. Um, we've put a spotlight in here and a pull switch. As you can see down in the corner, the sound flow is wired in and flexed out. And outside, as we've seen previously, we've got the spur for it. Job done. Um, it's taken a while, but uh, We've done it and uh, we've made a tiny job of it. So um, yeah, that's how we install a power supply for a Santa flow in a pretty much finished house. Thanks for watching.